What's up, rock stars? Welcome back to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel, and um, I'm working on this here. Shantae was nice enough, if you guys missed it, to make me a nice handmade sign here. And uh, had a little issue with the R, but uh, we got that all taken care of, I think. Um, tomorrow it'll be all set. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so we'll be hanging this up. I'm gonna get a proper background. I'm gonna go shopping, get some ideas for like what to put on the wall, and then put the sign in front of it. We'll get that all set up. Also, I'm gonna show you guys on the computer in a minute. It appears that eBay has fixed the late shipping ding, at least for most of us. They removed seven of the 13 that I had off of my account. Uh, I have six left. Uh, they're working on a couple of them. A couple were my fault, a couple more to go. Also, I had a glitch of a case closed without seller resolution, which is really odd because I've never had one, so I'm gonna have them check on that as well. But it looks like they're getting it fixed. The computers or whatever had some issues. Hopefully it's all taken care of and good to go by the end of the week. Um, if you haven't had those fixed under your seller dashboard, I'll show you in just a second. Um, make sure you do call eBay and get those checked on. Second quick piece of news for you guys. Tomorrow, February 8th, Steve Rakin will be here, Rakin Profit, in town in Tampa visiting. So I'm gonna grab him up, scoop him up from the airport. Tomorrow we're gonna hang out for a few hours. Half a day, the whole day, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. But um, <clears throat> we also live near Ryan and Alley Rally Roots, so we may see them, maybe call them up and have us meet, a, you know, meet up somewhere, I'm not sure. Um, and I have rumors that Eric, College Picker, is in Tampa, in town, so uh, maybe we'll just do a group text and we'll all grab lunch, we'll all hang out and have a good little uh, chat, a little talk, and uh, we'll get some good video of it. Uh, tomorrow night's late show, Thursday, um, live, it may be after 9 p.m. I will put the link up with the time for you guys to check on after that. So that's our little housekeeping. On to today's video, a lot of people asking me about doing videos on items that are not clothing, so I'm gonna start with this one. One of the most popular items on all of eBay and Amazon as well, either uh, platform that you sell on, and a lot of people don't know they can sell this. A ton of people like selling Apple products, phones and iPads. They tend to shy away from iPods, but when they do sell iPods, they sell iPod touches. Um, and they don't realize that you can also sell all the older model generation iPods, classics, shuffles, and nanos. So I'm gonna show you guys a little look at those three different models, the generations that go with them, and a typical uh, you know, selling price for right now, February 2018. So if you watch this video down the road, prices may be different, but these prices should hold for at least the next few months. So let's jump over to my computer screen, over to my MacBook, and I'll show you guys um, the glitch errors, where to look, make sure they've been fixed, and some of these Apple iPods, how to identify them, how to list them, how to check them, how to test them, and how to sell them for pretty good profits. All right, guys, as we jump over to my seller dashboard, which if you don't know how to get to it, just click on your uh, feedback and then right-hand side seller dashboard. You're gonna wanna focus on these two or three columns right here, transaction defect, late shipment, and case closed without seller resolution. You guys can see the cases closed without seller resolution. I'm at zero. Total tracking uploaded on time and validated. Only one of them didn't get tracking on time, which was my fault, 99.91. The late shipment, I had 13 because of the glitches. They got rid of seven today, which leaves six, and they're supposed to get rid of four more tomorrow, leaving me with just two late shipments. One was legitimately my fault. We shipped it out late. The other one, um, I can't figure out the reason for, but I'm okay with two because it's just gonna put me at like literally like 0.1 and that's perfectly fine. If you do the drop down, you can be uh, 3%. I'm only at a half a percent with six. Um, so I'd be at a quarter percent with three. So I'm gonna be at like 0 0.15, 0 0.2. So, um, and then the transaction defect rate should go away. But make sure you check on these and click on view full report, get full report if you think that something is going on weird and you need to get it checked out. So that is the seller dashboard side of the eBay report. Okay, so a lot of people inquired about like my past sales and like some of the items I used to sell back in the day and I still do sell them as I find them. They've just gotten to be um, not as plentiful here as they used to be. Um, and there's a reason for it here in Tampa, but um, there was a guy that moved in here that was like a humongous iPod dealer. And he like literally bought up every iPod in Florida and Tampa. But if you live outside of this area, it's probably a still you know, a great market for you to get into. And it's the older iPods. Everybody thinks iPod, they think iPod touches. And iPod touches are definitely sellable, they're definitely great. Um, but we're gonna focus on the three models prior to the touches. That's the shuffles, the classics, and the Nano. So we're gonna start here on the Shuffle. They come in two generations, a first gen, or a, a, well, they come in a first gen, a second gen, and a fourth gen. The one you really wanna focus on is gonna be the fourth gen. The first and seconds aren't worth more than like 
anywhere from ten to twenty five dollars. Um, they're gonna be tough to flip because even buying them on a resale market, unless you get like a bulk deal or something, is hard. But the fourth gens, these little square ones, now you don't have a screen on these. They're just music forward, backward, stop, play, and pause. And they come with the little charger cables. These little suckers will sell anywhere from like thirty five to forty five dollars pretty easily if you can get some of the fancy colors sometimes you can get 50 um really getting more than 50 is tough but all day 40 bucks most days 45 you guys can see the cheapest ones here at 36 33 46 47 49 49 really 45 bucks so if you can pick these up for 20 or less 20 or less um really the goal is 10 to 15 to flip them for 45 50 dollars if you're flipping them for 45 uh, and you know the shipping is going to run you like three dollars, so you're going to be at forty-two, and then your uh, fees are going to run you down to about thirty-eight. So at twenty dollars, you're making twenty-eight dollar profit. Even at twenty-five, you're almost doubling. Um, you know, well, not quite double, but almost doubling your money if you're selling them for fifty or more. So really, the goal is fifteen dollars, and you can find these at garage sales. Sometimes on Craigslist, people will put them up for like twenty, and you can offer them fifteen. This is really, you know, maybe you find it in a pawn shop for $20 where somebody pawned it for 10 bucks and the pawn shop's doubling their money or they put it out for 20. I always used to find these at pawn shops for like $24.99 and I'd offer them 20 bucks and we'd make a deal. Um, and then I'd put them up. They used to be worth like 55, 60. Even now, if I saw them in a pawn shop for, for $19.99, I might offer them 15 and try to buy it. Um, and they like to get rid of it. Sometimes you can find them on Facebook or let go, Facebook yard sale groups, offer up, all kinds of good uh, sources for these. These are going to be the lowest one I'm going to show you today. So this is the one that you may or may not find a lot of, but they don't get iCloud lock. They, they can be easily reset. They're easily tested. All you need is a pair of headphones, which when you're buying iPhones just or iPods, just keep a pair of headphones with you. Simply plug it in and um, you can test if it plays music. Um, you can buy one of these little charger cables for a couple bucks to have on, you know, to make sure it charges, plug it into your car in the USB slot. And um, as far as if you need music, I used to carry around my um, laptop and I would plug it in real quick and transfer music to if it didn't have any music on it. So that is a shuffle, fourth gen. They come in two gigs. Pretty much all of them are two gigs. I don't think the, the gigs change on those. Next is gonna be the Nanos. So the Nanos, you guys remember these. The first, second, First and second gen Nano is not worth a ton of money. You know, maybe $20, $25. Don't want to really steer towards those. The third gens can go for $30, $35. They look square. But where you really want to start is on your fourth and fifth gens. They both look like these rectangles. Um, these, again, are $40, $45 and up. Now, the 8 gigs are going to fetch you between $40, $50. Bucks. If you can find the 16 gigs, you're looking at an easy 70 most of the time 80 or 90. So here we go with um, you know a lot of eight gigs, 45, 47. There's one for 30, but they're really worth 45, 50. Um, if we keep scrolling down, um, here's a 16 gig brand new cable and earphones, 139. That's amazing. Here's one that sold for 68 plus six shipping, so that's 74. Really, you shouldn't be selling the 16 gigs uh, in less you know, for less than, if they're in great condition, not a lot of scratches, less than 60, really you should be aiming for 70. If you pair it up with a set of headphones and a cable that you can buy offline for like five bucks, you can bump the price to, you know, like 90 bucks, 100 bucks. Some of these people are getting over $100 for this thing. So um, just keep that in mind. Having the accessories makes all the difference. If somebody's selling you one and they want like $40 and you want to say, hey, you know, let's negotiate, you know, maybe they want 30, 40, you're going to say, hey, you got no charger, you got no cable, I can give you 20. If you got the charger and cable, I'll give you 25. That kind of negotiating tactic works really well. Here's another one with the charger and the earbuds, 150 plus five shipping. You see the difference that it makes. Here's one for 84, just having the charger cable. It literally will cost you $10, $15 in price by not having a charger cable and headphones because people are too lazy to go on and buy their own. Here's another one, um, $99 with a $3 shipping, um, you know, 103 bucks. So 148, 16 gig and the rare orange color. So really look for these fifth gens if you can find them for say 30 bucks or less, even up to 40. I really wouldn't spend more than 40. 30 is probably a better target. Um, so let's move on to the iPod Nano 6th generation. Now this is a square one. This is the one that runners like because they put them in the watches and they put them in the wristbands or the armbands. They can just put them on there, play their music. Now this was the first one that had the touch screen. The 4th and 5th did not. The 6th gens, again, same price. The 8 gigs are going to catch you about 50 bucks. 
the 16 gigs are gonna catch you about 80 to $90. So if you've got the charger cable, the earphones, really good. Here's the special edition red one. It was a rare red one, 16 gig, $120. So again, you could pay up to 30 for these, maybe 40 for the rare ones with everything. If they're missing stuff, $30. You can find them, trust me. Advertise to buy them on Facebook groups and Craigslist, Offer Up Let Go. You will find them. The 7 Gen Nanos, again, same pricing. These are touchscreens, they're rectangle instead of square, lightly upgraded um, for the 8. Uh, they don't make these in 8 gigs. I think these are all 16s actually. So you're going to fetch 80 for the lower uh, valued colors, which is probably like the silver and black, space gray. Um, if you can catch one of the rare color ones, maybe like the teal, the blue. Um, like this one, you can get typically like 90. The pink one, sometimes 90, 100 bucks. So these, again, target price 30 or less. You know, 40, you can do it. Um, if you sell it for 85, you're making 45. Less your fees, you're probably going to make about 38. You can still make $30. I mean, you could go up to 40 on these, really. So keep that in mind. Now we're going to go to the last one, which is classics. <laughs> iPod classics, I've sold a boatload of these. The fifth gens. Um, are the lowest ones you want to buy. If they're 30 gigs, you really don't want to try to pay more than 20 bucks for them. You're only going to get 50, 60 out of them. Um, the fifth gens with the bigger gigs, the 80 gigs will fetch you most times $60. Um, you can really try to target like 70 or 80 for the eight, 80 gigs if you can get them. Um, the 60 gigs in between that. So, you know, really try to pay 20, $25 or less for these. The big money is the six gens. Here are the six gens. They come in silver, they come in black. The lower of the two is the 80 gigs. There's three gigs on these. They come in 80 gigs that are gonna fetch about $80. They come in 120 gigs, which are gonna fetch right around 100 bucks. Um, 80 gigs can go up to 80 or 90. They generally won't, but the 120 gigs will get you $100. Like 99.99 is the dead on price for the 120 gigs. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys these um, these 120 gigs if they have it. Uh, nope, this is just 60 to 80. So these are gonna be the 90s. Once you fetch the 120 gigs and get 100 for them, if you can bump up to the 160 gig and the seven gens, you're looking at 150 plus, 160, 170. So your target goal on six gens, for the 80 gigs, you wanna try to pay around 40 bucks or less. Uh, you know, 30, 40 to try to sell them for 60, 70. If you're getting the 120 gigs, you want to pay 50 or less because you're going to sell those for 100. And if you're getting the 160 gigs, your target goal is 75, um, you know, to sell them for 150, where 150, the fees are going to leave you with like around 125. You pay 75, you get to make 50 bucks profit. So iPod Classics, iPod Nanos, iPod Shuffles, all wonderful items to resell. They will sell instantly. You will immediately get offers. These items will not sit more than 48 hours as long as they're priced well, they're working, and they're good. You can also buy these broken. I won't give you the pricing breakdowns, but you can certainly switch this over to parts and repair, and they're probably worth about half of what you're selling them for or a little less um, as good. So always keep your eyes peeled for all iPods and don't forget the iPod touches. They're not on my list because that's what everyone goes for, but iPod touches, of course, always sell well. So there you are, the Apple iPod three models you should be looking for in addition to iPod touches and double check your glitches on eBay to make sure all of your late defects and all your other defects got taken care of. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait for tomorrow. Can't wait to meet Steve Rakin. And just a late update as I film this video, we're going to be getting together, me and Steve, with Ryan and Allie from Rally Roots and Eric, the college picker, late tomorrow night for dinner. Cannot wait for that. So make sure you tune in tomorrow live and make sure you tune in for the recorded vlogs that I'm sure will be coming from Eric, Ryan and Allie, and Steve Rakin and myself probably on Friday um, but I will be live tomorrow night with them for just a few minutes. So thank you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, check out my description box. And if you're interested in the VIP group, I had a ton of people email me, message me. You can again email and message me. It's $15 a month, includes one-on-one -on -one coaching. Or if you want the rest of 2018 for $99, shoot me an email, mention this video, and I will hook you up. See you next time, everybody.